Let's talk about the pathophysiology of bundle branch blocks. So typically we have the pathway, the electrical pathways that go from the SA node to the internodule pathways to the AV node. And then down through the AV node, we go through the bundle branches and those bundle branches will lead to the Purkinje fibers, which create muscle contraction of the ventricles. Now in a block, in a bundle branch block, it means that these branches that are in these ventricles are blocked. We have two in the left ventricle and we have one main one in the, the right ventricle. And so what happens is that if we have have a bundle branch block, it means we can't use those electrical pathways. And so if the right bundle branch is blocked, we will see that we have cell to cell contraction, cell to cell to contraction, as opposed to using the Purkinje fibers to create fast contraction. That's why we see a really, really wide QRS, particularly in V2 on an ECG, because it takes longer to go cell to cell as opposed to using the bundle branches, the Purkinje fibers. Do you love our short videos and you're worried that you're going to miss some of them? Well, don't worry about that because we're going to send them straight to your email. All you need to do is hit the link in the bio and we're going to send all of our daily videos straight to your email so you can get your daily dose of medicine.